हेलो एज वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एस क्यूल फंक्शन नाउ दीज फंक्शन आर नॉट अवेलेबल इन ऑल द डेटा बेसिस मेनली आई हैव सीन इन पोस्ट ग्रीज एंड रेड शिफ्ट एंड वॉट एवर द वेरियंट ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रीज लाइक मे बी स्नो फ्लैक आई एम नॉट श्योर बट दीज आर नॉट प्रजेंट इन सिक्वल सर्वर माई सिक्वल टेरा डेटा दीज काइंड ऑफ डेटा बेसिस ओके बट वेरी यूजफुल फंक्शन सो लेट मी स्टार्ट वन बाय वन and see how they can be useful okay so let's start so i have this super store orders this data set i have row id order id order date right so let me choose some few columns only i need to explain this order id order date customer name right now let's say so if you see customer name right so we have full customer name here i want that first customer name and second customer name in a separate columns so basically i have to split the names on space now typically how do we do it in sql server we have to find the position of space using char index then use substring function length function bunch of function we have to do to split the name right first name and second name but in this red shift i am using red shift we have a split part functions directly split underscore part okay i have to give the column name comma i want to split on what what i want to split on space so second argument i have to tell i want to split on space and i want first value as first name right similarly at control c i can say last name right i am assuming there are only first name and last name and middle name then accordingly we can do but i can just say Split by space and give me second value. So this will give me first name and second name very quickly without much use of functions, right? So this is a beautiful function. I use it day in day out. So you see, first name and last name we got it, right? Very quick, right? In SQL Server, you try it. You have to use multiple functions to get to it, right? So let's move on to our next function, the awesome function. So next function I I want to talk about is. you would have heard of string aggregate functions but there is one limitation in string aggregate function i will just show you okay so let's say i want to see what all sub categories are there in each of the category right so i will say category and list aggregate sub category right i want to see and comp, uh, separated by comma that is that is how we use this list aggregate function right and then group by on category there is one limitation in this function and how we overcome in this, in red shift or post grease i will show you okay so i want to see in each category what all sub categories we have sold in the super store data so in furniture category these all categories we have sold i i want list aggregated values but if you see the values are repeating chairs chairs again so i don't want this i just want distinct values so typically in sql server you have to find first distinct values of category and sub category and then that will be inner query and outer query you will have to write list aggregate but here you can do distinct here only distinct that's it that's it man that's it and we will get distinct values see we got distinct values right so this is also awesome function very useful right we don't have to write sub queries just give distinct here in in sql server it is it is i think string underscore aggregate functions but again you can't give distinct okay so this is our second function of the day first is split part second is list aggregate with distinct third is third is more awesome so let's do order id comma customer name right e all this i will remove limit 10 let's keep it and let's run this okay so in when we do pattern matching like like operator so in like operator what happens is if i want to say where customer name like and let's say i am saying clear right now the problem here is it is case sensitive which means if i run this okay i have to put percentage okay 
Uh, okay. So if I run this, I'm getting the output. Okay. If I put something else like CL, okay. And name can be different, right? Somewhere it can be L can be capital or G can be small. There can be bunch of data, right? Then it will not work. It will not give me output because it is case sensitive, right? So one way of doing it, what we do generally is we convert everything to upper, right? And this here also we will put A I R E everything in capital. This is one way of doing it. We can achieve it. But there is a more sexy way of doing it in Redshift or I think Postgres as well. Okay, so what we can do instead of this, I will just put clear only. Doesn't matter what I put, right? And I will say I like. Okay, so even if I put L, doesn't matter. It means I means it is doing case insensitive search. Okay, so if I run this, now it will return me result. Because it is doing case insensitive research, uh, uh, case insensitive filtration. Okay, so pattern matching is case insensitive. If I remove I, then it is case sensitive. So it will not match because L is capital here, right? So instead of upper or lower, you can just do I like and give anything here. It doesn't matter. It will do case insensitive search. I stands for insensitive, right? I hope you like these three functions. These three functions I use day in day out, very useful. I hope someday SQL Server, Oracle and all other databases will, will implement these functions. Hope you like the video. I'm not going to put any insert statement. You can try on any data. This is this and these functions and do let me know how you found it. Is it useful or do you think it is not necessary? And thanks for watching the video. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That really gives me motivation to make more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.